Today I am doing a beauty video. Um, it's Tuesday, so I wanted to do like a beauty related one and um, a lot of you guys have requested to um, do a video on how I style my hair now that it's short. So this is how I do it right now. Um, it's all the products that I use, everything that I mentioned, all the pictures on my blog and stuff like that. But um, hopefully you guys find this helpful. So this is how I get my hair to look pretty much every day. I'm actually not that... Um, unhappy with how my hair looks right now. What I usually do, uh, this is day two hair, so I usually wash my hair on Mondays and Thursdays, um, and I'm quite routine about that, like I, I kind of like to stick to that. Um, I don't know why, <laughs> but anyways, so what I usually do when I go to bed is I put it up, see, to take off all my makeup and everything, I put it up anyway, so I just like scrape it up and I need to get it cut so it usually doesn't make this much of a big ponytail. It's quite long now and I want to like keep it quite short. Um, so I'm going to have it cut back to how it was like about five or six weeks ago. Anyways, um, totally off topic. So I usually just put it on top. There's a few bits here but I don't really care about those because this isn't like a aesthetic thing at all. This is just purely functional to get all my makeup off and to get my hair off my face. So I'll use like a hair tie and just like put it into this random bun like I don't put any work into that at all but this surprisingly enough kind of keeps the curl in really well because I sleep with my hair like this um and it's like I I just showed you guys it's it doesn't require any effort at all I just whip it up and tie it like twice and that's it but when I take it down it's quite like it just retains that textured kind of look otherwise I feel like if I sleep on it um just loose it can sometimes go a little bit straight but it's kind of that like kinky straight that isn't very nice or flattering on me anyway so um okay I'll show you guys what I do so when I'm washing it um I wash it with I'm using Ozzy can you hear Amelia she's doing that thing where she pushes herself back in her trip trap <laughs> She's like so crazy, but she's with her dad, so don't worry about her. Anyways, um, what I do when I wash it, I wash it with Aussie products. I'm using the, oh, uh, the moisturizing ones. I can't remember the exact name. I'll put the names down below. I think it's like, is it Magic Moisture or something moisture? I can't remember. Anyways, um, so I'm using them, the shampoo and conditioner for that. Um, and then when I get out of the shower, I brush my hair out and I put in this, I've mentioned it before, it's the Phyto 7. Um, it's like, it's for dry hair. It's a hydrating day cream with seven plants. And I use like a pea size amount of that and just distribute it through the ends. Then what I do is I usually like will do my makeup or put it up for a little bit or um, not kind of like care about it for a little while. Um, then I take it down and I apply this. So this is something that was sent to me. It's part of two products that were sent to me like way back in October when my hair was long and I remember when I got them I was like I'm not using these on my hair my hair is way too long for this like if I use these kind of products like the curl like for curls or for curly hair um kind of texturizing or like to hold curl I will just end up looking like a witch like it just if your hair is too long and you use products like this and you don't heat style it to make it curly it just doesn't look right for me anyway it would just always look messy straggly like like a witch honestly um if your hair is shorter though even longer than mine like say like here or like maybe like here this length um and if you have layers I think this would work perfect so um I got two of them uh, this is the Red Ken Curvaceous Ringlet, and this is their like uh, perfecting lotion for elastic curls. So I like to use this in my hair when it's wet. I'll usually take about two pumps, and then um, I'll just like go like this. And then what I usually do is flick my hair over upside down, and it's usually like it's wet, but it's towel dried, so it's not like soaking wet. And I'll just scrunch it through my hair and then leave it. I don't do anything else to it. I finish doing my makeup, whatever, getting breakfast ready. Like I have wet hair. I don't even blow dry it anymore. It's that simple, um, and that just kind of gives it that like hold and that more defined curliness that it wouldn't usually get if I didn't do anything to it. It would just look kind of frizzy and like in between wavy and straight and that kind of like, I don't like that in between frizzy look. Um, cause my natural hair texture is quite wavy, but I feel like if I use these kinds of products, it can, especially when it's short like this, it'll help define the curl. 
So that's what I do when I have um, just just washed my hair and then what I will do when it's kind of dried more is I'll go back and I'll use the Batiste dry volume um, dry volume dry shampoo big and bouncy XXL volume this is a dry shampoo so you just spray it in your roots I'm gonna use this anyway um, right now and show you guys how I use that but I'll do that after um, it's kind of air dried a little bit and that will just give me more volume on top because what I find is if I don't blow dry my hair which I don't like to do anyway because I don't like using heat on my hair um, number one for health reasons like for health reasons that's it so serious like uh, for health of my hair reasons I mean um, if your hair is if you don't use heat on your hair it, the less heat you use the healthier it'll be um, but then also for just the simple reason that I don't have time like I'm doing things with Amelia I'm trying to like get stuff ready around the house and you know I'm just I don't have time so that's why I love this hairstyle and haircut because it really works for me um, as a new mommy <laughs> so um, what I where was this going yeah so what I'll do is I'll, I'll put that in when it's kind of air dried and um, it just gives me more volume because otherwise it looks a little flat so right now this is day two like I said and right now my hair it's like okay but it, there's bits to it that I don't really you know it's not as it's not the way that I really want it to look okay so this is what I do on day two hair um, so I'm gonna take the Batiste dry shampoo the XXL and I'm gonna try and do this without making a huge mess so just spray it I usually spray it like on top and you can see I look like I have gray hair now but don't worry that's gonna go away and then I'll usually like lift it up and do that okay that's a little much I don't usually use as much and then what you do is you just rub it into your like like you would a normal shampoo like if you were standing in the shower that's kind of what you would do anyway so that just gives you like or gives me rather <laughs> um, a lot more volume on top and makes it look better in my opinion now if you don't like the volumized look then you don't need to do this but I personally do I think it it suits my face shape better and um, I mean it looks a little messy like you can see here but I like messy um, so if you don't like if you like a sleeker look you won't like this but anyways and some people don't like my hair I get that some people don't some of you guys don't like it but a lot of you guys do so and I do so and that's why I'm showing you so that's all I do literally you could actually just leave it like this in fact my hair right now I would probably leave it like that but I just want to show you guys what I do if I'm not really liking the um, ends that much so like I said yesterday I used the curvaceous ringlet to get these kind of more defined curls today I'll use the curvaceous wave ahead um, so I'm just gonna use a little bit of this shake it up first because that's what it looks like the mousse um, I don't need as much so I'm just gonna scrunch it into my hair and my husband thinks this smells like tea he's always like you smell like tea I don't know if that's a bad thing or a good thing but um Apparently it smells like tea. I think it smells nice. It smells like a salon to me, so that's not a bad thing. Um, okay, so what I like about this is that it dries into your hair pretty quickly. Like right now it might look a little wet. It's actually not looking that wet, to be honest. Um, but it doesn't dry like, yeah, it is a little bit sticky, obviously, because it's it's giving your hair some texture and hold, it's trying to hold on to the curl but it doesn't feel like it, you know, unless you use way too much. It doesn't feel like gross on your hair, you know, you, it still feels soft. So you can see it's already kind of starting to dry in. So that's all I do. Um, and then I just kind of like shape it to how I want it to look. And that's literally how, how I do my hair. So um, that's how I get the big volume with no backcombing, no heat, absolutely no heat at all, actually, to be honest. I don't use heat on my hair anymore. Um, 
What I will say is the cut makes a difference if you have short, the shorter my hair is, the curlier it goes. And also um, the more layered up it is, the easier it, it is to kind of get that curly wavy look. So, um, and a more defined one as well. I need to wash my hands now. So that's everything that I do. Um, I really hope this helps you guys. And um, let me know if you have any other beauty related like requests or anything for me to do on, um, Tuesdays, I'm trying to do beauty related videos on Tuesdays um, and I'll probably do a makeup tutorial next like my full face routine or something like that but um, let me know and I'll put pictures on my blog of everything I mentioned and kind of go into a little bit more detail maybe I don't know if I have time and um, thank you so much for watching this video let me know if you like the style or not and I will talk to you in my next one bye